Welcome to this video tutorial about After Effects and in particular we're, today we're going to talk about Master Properties. Um, maybe you've seen some tutorials about Master Properties, they've been around for a while now in After Effects, but um, I've noticed that uh, most of the tutorials are just explaining like this is what you can do with, with Master Properties and uh, not really give you any idea of how to use them. Uh, usually they, they involve uh, title animations for uh, Premiere, going out to uh, with the essential graphics, going on to uh, motion graphics templates. Um, and I found that Master Properties are a really good tool uh, also to use in After Effects to control uh, compositions and uh, multiple instances of my compositions. So uh, today I just want to give you a quick and dirty uh, fun example of how to use master properties uh, with using some uh, googly eyes and controlling them with master properties. So to get started we're going to make a composition which is just, uh, uh, 19, which is just HD. Uh, here we go. Uh, we're going to make a solid as the background. It's just red. It's fine. And uh, this is our um, master comp. Nothing to do with master properties. Now we're going to make a new composition uh, which is called eyes. And it's not going to be as uh, big. It's going to be 300 by 100. Uh, just some small eyes. There we go. And now we're going to make the eyes um, uh, that we're going to control. So we're going to make a new shape layer. Uh, we're going to make a rectangle. Here we go. I'm going to show you in a second how we can make it eyes out of this. Uh, Learn this from Sander van Dyke. Uh, you're going to um, pick up the roundness to one of the size properties and boom, it's round. Um, so this is I left. And now when we copy this with control D, we're going to make this pupil left. And now we have a size property, which we can actually tone down. So this is when this is 40 and we're going to make this blackish. We have an eye and it's going to be uh, the roundness uh, sh could be 20 but uh, if it exceeds 20 so the half of the size it's fine it's just going to be round all the time so that's great um, what is nice to do is we have a second uh, rectangle and we're gonna turn it down even more and we're gonna make this white so we have some nice uh, if we're gonna put this on the hair, so then we get a little bit of specular highlight going on. Um, so that's that. Uh, yeah, I think we're ready to copy. Well, um, if, if I move this uh, pupil, um, it's gonna go out of the out of the eye, and I don't want that. So I'm gonna use a set mat to. Uh, counter that. I could, could use a normal mat, but I really like uh, that set mat is an option here. So I'm going to show you what I'm doing. Set mat as an effect, putting that on the pupil and choosing the, um, uh, the mat layer as I, and that looks like it doesn't do anything. But if I move around now, it's using the uh, the eye as a mat, which is great. All right, so I'm gonna copy these two and putting them on top uh, or at the bottom because it's left and then right. Um, enter for changing the name, another enter for changing the name, and um, oh. these guys are going to the right. And these guys are going to the left. And it looks like it's it's kaput, but that's not because here I've still uh, I've copied uh, the pupil with um, saying that the mat should be 
uh, I left and should be I right. So it's right over here. Uh, that's great. Um, so now I'm going to make a null object using control alt shift y. There's my null object. And uh, oh, I almost lined this out pretty well. So this is the center and I'm using the null object for controlling the pupils. Thought that was a really good idea, so I'm um, naming this control. And now, when I'm the, when I'm moving the null objects, uh, the the pupils are uh, going with the null, which is great. Um, and that's that's really it for now. Uh, we're going back to our master comp, and we're adding the, the eyes to the master comp. So here we get the eyes, and we can't do anything with it just transform it's just the position and the rotation normal properties but we want to control the null object from within uh, within the eyes and how we can do that's fairly easy we're opening the essential graphics window here it is and I'm usually putting it on the right it's kind of small now there we go um, and now we can Let's go into the eyes. There we go. And now you can uh, select uh, a composition uh, from which you want to uh, add uh, certain properties. So here we click on eyes. You can see uh, these are the eyes. It's really great. And you can click on solo supported properties. So you can see which properties are supported by um, essential graphics, which are a lot. So if we open it, we can see, oh, we can add the anchor point, position, scale, rotation, uh, all, all those things. Um, and even uh, unit length for tapering and stuff like that. A lot of properties are opened because I clicked on the solo supported properties. Um, eventually you will know which properties are supported and you can just uh, close these up with you and just open up the properties you want to uh, select. So now we're gonna, we want to add the position. So I press the letter P, uh, positions uh, going on, and um, I will drag and drop position to the essential graphics. So to the um, master, which is eyes. Uh, and this is the position of, uh, of the pupils. So that's great. And, um, we can already see the result of this, which is really awesome. So if we go back to the master comp, um, we actually see that um, master properties have, has been added to the composition. And if we open this, we see that position has been added, which we were hoping for. So uh, what, what does this do? Um, I can now actually uh, move the position of the pupils without moving the position of the pupils inside the composition. So for example, I'm uh, actually making this guy look to the left. And um, if we go back to the eyes composition, you can see, you can see that uh, the eyes are actually looking to the front. So why are they looking to the left? Um, well, because uh, there is a property here, which is position. We've added it to the master properties. And um, this instance of the composition uh, has been given a different set of uh, position uh, values. So if we add another instance of the same composition, so we have eyes here and eyes here, it's the same composition. Um, and we're moving it to there and we're going to make this guy look to the right. Then you can see that there are actually two, hey, these compositions are the same, but they have different values from uh, the master properties and uh, they're actually uh, showing up differently, which is wonderful. Um, so you can have a lot of eyes uh, looking around at the same, at, at different positions. Um, and I hope this actually tingles your imagination, like 
how this is great because now I just have one instance, I have one uh, composition with uh, values and I can actually copy them and uh, make them look different or make them uh, do a different thing without having to have different copies of the same composition. Um, the other thing I really like about master properties is um, uh, the button over here, which actually says uh, pull from master property of our master comp, sorry. So if you click on this, um, the value actually uh, reverts back to the values uh, that is in the master comp. So you can see the eyes are looking straight. If you're control Zing this, uh, you can also push to the master property. So if I click that, um, it looks like nothing changes, but if we're going inside the composition, we can see that now the normal position or the master position is the position we just added. Um, we're control Z this. So um, the other thing that I really like about master properties is that you don't have to um, plan a lot for master properties. Uh, for example, I just added position and maybe uh, in a while, when I'm working with the animation, I'm thinking, well, I really want to change uh, the color of, um, uh, of the eyes, for example. So, so the eyes should be, uh, at one point, uh, should go uh, red, the, 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 uh, the whites of the eyes. Let, let's, let's just <laughs> say that this is a possible. Uh, possibility. So um, uh, what we can do is add the uh, uh, the color actually of, uh, of the eyes. So the fill of the eyes, we can add that to mass properties, but that's just one of the eyes uh, color. So if we're going back to the master comp, uh, you can see that there's a, a color uh, picker now. And if we click on this and we're going to red, then one eye is going red, which looks a little bit gross. Um, but we want to change both of the eyes. And um, to do that, uh, we can actually um, just control Z that. And we're actually um, adding a color picker to the control uh, layer, which is fairly easy. We're going to effects presets, uh, going to color. We have somewhere, we have a, you've seen it color control at the expression controls, color control. We're adding that to the control layer. It is here in the control, uh, effects control. Uh, let's turn this to white. And we're pick whipping the color of the eyes to that, um, to that effect. So clicking on control, uh, we can actually lock this which is very handy because now we can click here and nothing changes. We can pick whip this to uh, the control layer and we can pick whip this eye to the control layer. And, and now we're gonna add the color control to the master properties. So here's the color, color control and we're adding that to the master properties. Um, and when we're going to <laughs> the master comp, I, I hope I don't tire you with this, but just an example, uh, we can see that there's another uh, color picker. And if we're changing this, this guy to uh, red, we're changing both of the eyes to red. So this is just an example to show you that you don't have to uh, only add to the properties of a single uh, shape layer, or for example, but you can also make sliders, uh, uh, color uh, controls, and add them to uh, the essential graphics panel, which then adds them to uh, master properties inside of your uh, master comp. Um, it's really a really great tool if you're using it um, more often, you can just find so many examples of uh, making your life uh, easier in After Effects. I uh, would invite you to use it more often. Use it maybe just for adding position or something like that. And you, uh, just can, you're just you going to see more possibilities of using the um, master properties. So I hope uh, just post whatever you've made 
um, uh, on YouTube. I've, I love to hear your stories about how it made your life easier. And um, uh, if, there's a, if there are any questions, of course, uh, ask, ask, ask them uh, in the comments.